Hey guys, this is Donnie. Uh, I thought I'd do another vinyl update. Uh, I just got back from spring break in the past few days, and uh, over break I managed to go to my record store and the one dollar thing uh, a few times. So I got a ton of records. I actually have like forty or fifty here to go through. So I'm gonna be going through them pretty fast. But um, yeah, I was I had access to my whole record collection over the break, and I was gonna make some videos showcasing some stuff I already had. But uh, I was sick actually the whole entire break. So I, my voice was all raspy and I couldn't talk. So I'll have to save it for another time. But no, I probably will do that. But so let's let's start going through these. Some of these I plan on getting rid of. Some of them I just bought just to resell. I mean, you know, I'm just trying to make some money. I don't know if that's a bad thing to do or not, but whatever. All right. Uh, first we got Sly and the Family Stone Stand. Um, this is a very good album. I already have this, <clears throat> but um. I don't know if I'm going to sell this or just use it. I don't know if this is a better copy or not. I think it might be a little uh, a little worse of a copy, but still. It's a good album. We got Rhinoceros. Um, I think this is their first album. I do not know much about it. Uh, I just vaguely have heard of them, and I thought it's a very cool-looking album, so I thought I would give it a try. Gatefold. We got Led Zeppelin 2. Again, all these were one buck, so this is pretty good. They're not in the best shape, but still, it's only a buck, so I'm not going to complain about it. We got The Turtles. Happy Together. Really like The Turtles. Awesome band. Love this album, love that song, Happy Together, so awesome find. And here's some albums that I plan on reselling. I have like a lot of, a few. Actually, they're not in the right order, but here's one of them. Uh, Stevie Wonder, Songs in the Key of Life. I have a few Stevie Wonder albums that I plan on getting rid of. And I'm really happy about this. Black Sabbath, Paranoid. I got a copy of this a while ago for a dollar, but um, it was just almost unplayable. So I'm really glad that I have this now because... It's a really, really awesome album. Really good songs on it. Here we got Blue, Joni Mitchell. Um, this album's in pretty crappy quality. There's a lot of like water damage and wear and stuff to it, but still. It's a really, really good album, so I thought I would pick it up. I think it's only a buck. Then we got um, Prince. This is um, Prince and the Revolution Parade. Again, I already have this. I got it recently, but I thought I would get rid of it. And this one I only got because it has Creed Bratton on the cover and on the back. There he is from The Office, so I thought it was kind of cool. This album's called Loving Things by the Grassroots. I do not know much about this album. It's The Birds, though. I don't know if it's a live album or what, but... We got Nancy Sinatra. I picked up some of her stuff recently and I really liked it, so I thought it would get some more. It's called How Does That Grab You? And then here's another one I do not know much about. It's called a group called Smith. I've just heard that band name before, so I thought I would pick it up for a buck, give it a try. We got the soundtrack to Jaws. Really cool music on there. And here we have an original Johnny Cash album. I originally got this to resell. I still probably am going to do that just because the record is in pretty crappy condition. But it's a really awesome album, though, on Sun. That's so pretty darn cool. Another Johnny Cash. This one's Hello, I'm Johnny Cash. Now, this one, the cover is not... I didn't get for a buck, but uh, the record inside I got for a buck. I had this cover... It was a, it had a stereo record inside, and when I was there, I just found the record for this in mono, so I just bought that and then swapped out the records so that it's the right, you know, so it's in mono. And here's a, a lot of three Simon and Garfunkel that I'm planning on reselling. It has some wear to it on the two, but um, the records are in really, really good shape. One was mint. It's, it's ridiculous. About Wednesday morning, 3 a.m. Bookends. Now, my copy of this did not have the poster, and I found the poster in this one, so I 
put it in my copies. That's awesome to find, too. And then we have Parsley, Sage, Rosemary, and Thyme. Love Simon and Garfunkel. They're awesome. Got Cheap Trick, a Budokan. This is a promo copy. I'm writing on it, though. We got Beetle 65. It's actually in pretty darn good condition. It has the original uh, inner with it, too. We got a copy of Abbey Road. Has some writing on it, but you know, it's fine. Here we got a lot of four Billy Joel albums that I'm selling. We've got Billy Joel Glass Houses, Billy Joel Turnstiles, 52nd Street, The Stranger. And then this album is maybe one of the best albums I ever found there for a buck. Pink Floyd, Animals. I was flipping through the bins and I just saw this and I was just like blown back for a second. I couldn't even believe that I found this. And I, it's in pretty darn good condition. Like it plays very well. Um, has the original inner. It's a pretty expensive album actually if you'd buy it online. It's pretty awesome. And then here we got Michael Jackson, Off the Wall. Uh, this has a little, some stuff on his shirt and writing on his sock and stuff, but um, you know, still a pretty cool find for a buck. Plays pretty well. And here we have a lot of six Santana albums. We got, I don't even know how to pronounce this, um, Caravanserai, I guess that's how you pronounce that. Welcome. This album reminds me of the Beatles' White Album, because it's just plain white, and then it has the name of the album embossed on there. Uh, I think this one's called Borboletta. Santana 3. Here we have Abraxas. Um, this one has... The actual Braxis record, then it also just has the record for uh, Santana's first album. So, technically, I got each of the albums for 50 cents because it was in here. And, yep. Both both of those albums are really great albums. I think it's funny how it has a sticker to cover up the stuff on the front. And here we got Woodstock. Um, I got this recently. I think I showed it in my other video, but I realized that that one didn't have one of the records in it. So, saw this, picked it up for a buck. And it's in a lot better shape than the other one, so probably end up getting rid of the other one. I don't want to open this up all the way because it's it opens up like trifold. This one's cool. Best of Cream has some cool songs in there. I mean, it's awesome to find this. I think it's funny when I I go and I get it for a buck, and then I go up to the top store and I find it's only for like six bucks. Granted, it's in better shape, but still, it's cool to. See that happen. Um, we got the birds. Turn, turn, turn. Awesome album. I love the birds. Good stuff in this album. Now this one I didn't even. I accidentally bought. Uh, I thought it was an album by Big Brother and the Holding Company, but I'm an idiot and I just saw Big Brother and the Holding Company and I I just kind of threw it in my pile because I I thought it was uh, an actual album, but it's a compilation. It's bunch of different artists they have them separated but it was not separated this time I accidentally made it into the other ones remember the birds untitled I already I, I think I might have showed this one in my other video too I got it recently um I just got this another one just to get rid of and, and then sell it to somebody it's not that great a shape but still it's a pretty good album here's a weird one to find run DMC king of rock Weird to see Run DMC stuff. And here we have Ar Argent, Argent. I don't know how to pronounce it. I only, I only saw it ever in writing. But um, never saw this album before. Kind of reminds me of Sgt. Pepper, the way it's all set up there. But um, he was a member of the, the Zombies. And the Zombies album, Odyssey and Oracle, one of my favorite albums ever. So I thought I would give some of his solo stuff a try. There's a little booklet inside, too.
And we have mountain climbing. Uh, I saw this before a bunch of times, but I never actually looked closely and bought it. Um, this has the song Mississippi Queen on there, which is a really awesome song. So, picked it up. And we have Prince. Um, I forget what this one's called. Uh, Around the World in a Day. Yep. It's a really weird looking album. Like, they have trifold and then they have, or uh, it's a gatefold and then it has this weird thing on it. And here's some albums that I plan, two of the other Stevie Wonder albums I plan on selling. I do not have these, but I'm not that big of a fan of Stevie Wonder, so I'll listen to them and I'll see if I like them. And if I like them enough, then I'll keep them, but probably just end up getting rid of them. This is uh, Fulfilling This First Finale. Cool looking album. We have Stevie Wonder, Hotter Than July. Do you not have this? And then finally, we got another Nancy Sinatra. Uh, this is Sugar. But yeah, really awesome getting all this stuff for a dollar. I got some really crazy stuff. I really plan on going to the uh, $1 thing a lot in the summer. And so hopefully I'll, I'll be making a bunch of videos. And you can check them out when I plan on putting them out. So um, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, see you later.